Cedar Park woman is helping rescue people from flooding all from her own home here in Central Texas. KXN's Jacqueline Powell shows us how she's getting help using only her cell phone, her computer, and her connections in the coastal area. When the flooding began in the Houston area Sunday, Annie Hardy was scrolling through Facebook. On the rooftop with my three sons waiting for rescue. Lord, please be with me and my sons. That's what I woke up to. And that's a friend of yours? That's a friend of mine that I went to school with. Hardy grew up 30 miles south of Houston in Dickinson. This is the family that was in their attic. They had to put balloons out. Pictures like this one from her hometown flooded her feed. How can you just look at that and say, wow, I, good luck. Mm -hmm. Good luck. I hope you get rescued. So from her house, hours away. I start calling. I start checking. Connecting old friends and family. In different places where people said, I need help. And I'm like, here are the Coast Guard numbers. With whatever they needed. Well, I had somebody who messaged me who said, I have a family member in Dickinson. They don't know how to get out. Are the roads clear? And I said, let me check. And for those able to leave. Having connections in Dickinson and connections in Austin and having that come to fruition was, was truly miraculous. She's gathered volunteers in Austin to open their homes to evacuees. How could you not? How could you see this going on and, and not have a response to it? Christine Schaefer is a longtime friend. She's also a certified special ed teacher, so her home was the perfect fit for this family. This is Damien and his wife. Their son has autism. Schaefer was able to help him through the panic of evacuating as they stayed with her Monday night. Hardy says as more of these families head north, oh, I'm in for the long haul. I'm she'll keep doing everything she can to help. Jacqueline Powell, KXAN News. So many of you are asking how you can help those affected by Harvey. And we are making it easy for you to connect with the American Red Cross and the Salvation Army. You'll be able to make sure that your donation goes directly to hurricane relief. Happening right now, simply go to kxan.com slash StandStrongTexas.